Is that DDD somehow running it back in a regional this far back? Not a lot of people would stop playing this, but all right. Don't beg the 30% of you guys who have not smashed the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up the 100k ladder. Your breakdown for the Mokton Regional is here. And Adventure Dragons ended up winning this regional. I'm not exactly sure how Adventure Dragons performed and ran it back that far. But you know what? I gotta clap for it. That takes a level of interesting dedication that I don't think a lot of players have really considered at this point in time. So that's awesome. We also had double Flanderies in this event. I'm not really surprised about that. Flunder seems to kind of be taking over as like that Rogue Buster deck. I mean, it was the Rogue deck last format in terms of like being meta anti meta because all it does is just, hi, I'm in pen. Yay. You floodgate your opponent out of the game effectively. So, no real surprise there. So, two Flunder. We had two Despia. Not really surprised about that all that much. And then we also had two Sword Soul in Top Cut. I mean, your standard metagame decks that you're super used to seeing are present for this event, which tells me that this was a, even though it was a small number of people present for this event, it tells me that there were enough people here that it was competitive, and that's a good thing. And then your big rogue one for this event was actually DDD. The fact that somehow DDD was able to kind of counteract, keep up, with the developments of the meta, once again, tells me very good things here, ladies and gentlemen. And the fact that even now, all right, massive combo aside, depending on how the rest of the format goes here, seeing the DDD came out of like the rogue pile and went, all right, this is what we're doing. Not bad. Overall, very standardized breakdown. Nothing too crazy out of left field for this, but we're gonna pass on over so you can take a look at those hot deck lists now, shall we? All right, the first is we're gonna be looking at here is our Adventure Dragon Link list. And I will say the Brave Package really does supplement this deck and kind of bring it all together. Considering the fact that you want consistency, and I mean, just because your little Rose Dragon package has been limited. Thank you, Red Rose Dragon, for being limited in the whole Basil Root, Rose Shot, you know, interactions have been limited. Does not mean that this deck is hurt. And like I said, in term, considering this deck doesn't give two craps about its normal summon, your normal summon turns into Striker Dragon. <laughs> You're like, we did it. All right. I climbed good link ladder slash sinker ladder. Outside of that, there's nothing too crazy about Dragon Link. Um, no Alba Lenitus to stop this deck's end board today. Can't contact out if you can't draw Alba as five head. I do like the uh, dimensional barrier in the side deck, though. Very, very nice. I'm glad to see Gamma's back and doing its job as well. Next list we have here is our Flander list. All right, so this is one Mystic Mind, two Dark Ruler, no Moors here. We've seen pretty interesting interchangeable combinations of these. You've seen, you know, double Mystic Mind on the side. You've seen triple Dark Ruler, no more in the main deck. I am glad to see that this has become a very good supplement. Also, Draw and Lockbird looks like it was gaining a little bit of popularity for this event, which... All right, I, I can't say that I'm very intrigued to see like the massive payload here for that, but that's not too bad, all things considered. Also, uh, D or Dimensional Fissure seems like it's been a very hit or miss option for this event, which is kind of interesting, actually. Um, a lot of Thunder players in the past have tried this out, but I've seen them not playing it as much as of late. So to see that this is showing back up now in the early stages is not too bad overall. So I do like seeing this. This is very, very good. All right, next up here, we have, ah, here we go. This is our Despia shenanigans that we've all come to know and love. There's the triple Allure Darkness, the double Mercurier, and we are playing the Gold Sarcophagus. Now, um, in terms of actually only playing two McCurrier, one Gold Sark, I think that's fine. Um, though a lot of these builds have tried out three McCurrier, and I think they've liked it pretty much. I also like that we are playing the Branded Sword as well in here. Getting those free huge tokens on the field is going to be kind of your free real estate value for this deck, and we'll just get to give you that bigger oomph that you need. I also see here that we have the Dark Ruler, no mores, of course, so you can go ahead and 
do full board breaking as per usual. Outside of that, I don't truthfully see anything else in this that sticks out too much to me. Like I said, a lot of these branded decks look pretty standardized as of late. And yeah, like I said, I guess your real tech choice is Tuma Courier. Next up here is our 10 Yi variant for this. Triple Vassal versus two Heavenly Dragon Cycle. Like I said in previous comments here, I know if a lot of people are looking at Heavenly Dragon Cycle being like, eh, it's not all that amazing. And I think that's fine at the end of the day. You can kind of make your decision based on what you want to for that, but all right. Um, Synthana also seeing play here is fine. Uh, the other big thing I've heard people talking about is two versus three of this. You can make your decision on this either way. It works out. There's more Droll and Lockbirds. Holy crap, man. They really, really love their Droll for this event. Also, double Night Beam down here, being able to snipe away a big old nasty branded in red or something so your opponent can't play the game. Absolutely amazing. Also, Droplets down here in the side deck. Not too bad for a Sword Soul 10 Yi variant. Uh, very, very, very standard. Um, just, just how it looks right now, man. No real innovation back here. Our DDD list. Oh my gosh. Some good eats here. Only double Pyre's map. Um, I believe we were trying to get crazy and we we're trying to play three of these at the very beginning of uh, this deck's life, which, I mean, if you open two, you're just gonna cry. There's the triple copies of the Pot of Prosperity, so you can be able to filter. Your whole side deck is perfectly designed for what you need to do. You also have to make your decision tree on what you're going to need in terms of combo. And you, I, I think if you've got like full DDD combo memorized, that should not be an issue, right? You should know which lines of play you wanna go down. I'm assuming in a perfect world that you know all of the combo lines and everything that you need to know to create that optimized board so what you banish off of this and what pieces you need to search for you can definitely tell at least I, I think that this build was a lot more streamlined and a lot more developed at least for the development of this event not too bad next up here oh no it's another sword soul 10 Yi variant Oh no, there's the triple draw and lockbird again. I swear that this event, everybody just looked at each other and was like, all right, my elitist, we're gonna put draw and lockbird in the side deck. All right, this is, this is the event. I do see that we have no heavenly dragon cycle in this, all right? That means that we were going full steam ahead here with the heavenly dragon cycles, no problem. No Synthana built into the main deck, and we do have the triple Ecclesia in here, more standardized. I also see down here we have Contact C. We've seen this in a couple lists. That DDD list just had this in the side deck as well as an access point. Uh, no dimensional barriers, so I guess they were worried less about Despia. Um, I understand like anti-spell fragrance is kind of your shutout card also for that deck, but all right, not too bad overall. Like I said, all these Swords old decks, they all look the same. You have your same like eight, nine interchangeable cards. Next up is our Despia list. 45 cards for this bad boy. The most interesting thing about this list here is we're maining Triple Mystic Mine. I haven't seen a Despia player trying to access Mystic Mine. I guess this is kind of acting as the oh crap button. Something went wrong. I need to kind of slow down the pace of the game or, you know, the Sword Soul player bullying me too hard. Gotta bait the Omni to gate. But all right. No Lord Darkness is in here. Only one McCourier. And we are playing the One Gold Sarcophagus to get to it. We're also playing the Crossout Designators. This is going to be a lot easier for the mirror match. I think one big thing, or at least in terms of development for this list, that kind of hinders it is this feels more mirror match design. And I don't know how many mirror matches you played for the day, but I, I feel like that kind of hurt a little bit. Also, Crossout Designating the Mystic Mine you feel like a genius when that resolves. And the last as we have here is our other copy of Flander here. Wow, so this is where we have the Dark Roll and Omorse. We have the Dualities and the Extraps for our draw power, no prosperity. Double Book of Moon, only one Mega Ryza. We did see earlier in the week that somebody out here was trying to get really crazy with Mega Ryza shenanigans, which is all right. Uh, we have the Board Breakers down here. Shout out to Raigeki, actually. It's being able to tear through boards. Dark Samorg has pretty much returned as a staple at this point in time. And yeah, I don't see anything else really too crazy for that. Outside of that, the one unexplored wins. We did see two unexplored wins coming up, but that was 
That was very interesting. So what do you guys think about this regional breakdown? Please, if you comment down below, tell me what you guys Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.